It says we're recording, Sue. It says we're recording. Hey! What a couple of schmucks. <laughs> Can we, a couple of radio veterans here trying to figure out, is it recording? Is the microphone on? We are. We're really too cool <laughs> for words, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. I've never been cool in my whole life. You know, you, yeah, the only only one, only one, time you're cool is when you're Dairy Queen. I always find I think cool. Dairy, Dairy Queen is pretty cool. Do you? Yeah, I think Dairy, Dairy, Dairy Queen, cool. Queen has not made an appearance in a couple of years. I'm getting a lot of requests for Dairy I Queen. Think, uh, I back. think we need to do drag bingo. I told you that. <sighs> Sorry, Mom. Drag bingo. Sorry, Mom. Uh, okay. She's not a fan. Mom's not a fan. Oh, I totally am. I totally <laughs> am. Yeah. Did it as a joke once and forever. Anyway, yeah. um, it is Pride Month, so anything goes. Anything goes. Um, what you, so yesterday we talked women's fantasies. We did. So let's, you know, let's talk a little bit about, about STIs. Just because I know we keep coming Important. up, but the questions keep pouring in. Oh, I had somebody who said she tested positive once for herpes they didn't know if it was herpes one or herpes two she didn't know if it was herpes one or herpes two sometimes so here's the difference so it used to be believed that herpes one lived above the waist and herpes two lived below the waist but that's not true so if you have a cold sore you go down on somebody they can get a cold basically a cold sore which is herpes one on their genitals okay that all of the herpes viruses there's a variety of different ones want to be on mucous membranes mucous membranes are your mouth your genitals Actually, your eye, but that's, we're not going to get into that right now. And so if you You're get, scared me with I that. know, I know. So if, oh well, it doesn't God. happen very often. So All don't right. worry about it. So if you have packed a lunch and you don't have any cold sores and you've got nothing, you have, in my opinion, my personal opinion, 0% chance of transmitting herpes. Some people, there have been something called asymptomatic shedding which is where you don't have a sore, but you can transmit it. But honestly, in every case I looked at the research, they all felt that tingling, I'm about to get a cold sore feeling. Right. And it releases some cells. And it's still hard to get, but that's what happens. So if you have never, if you haven't had an outbreak in a long while, do you declare it to a new partner? Hmm. Hmm. You can 80% of people, 80 in North America, get cold sores. I get one every three years when I have a bad cold. That's it. Does it? I wouldn't kiss anybody when I had it. I wouldn't go down on anybody when I had it. But does that mean that I have herpes? I don't think so. I think I get cold sores. So if you have type 2, which is genital herpes, and you have regular and prolific outbreaks, you can get medication to deter them. And I think if that's the case, then you absolutely have to declare it. I agree. Even if you don't, even if you don't have an outbreak and cannot transmit it at that point. But what is interesting is there was a study come up. I posted it on the Ducklings Facebook group. If you're not a member of the Ducklings Facebook group, find us or find us at weartheducklings.com and join. But one of the things they had, it was about HIV transmission. So the, the research was saying that there's a bunch of people, you know, a lot of, a lot of gay couples who one partner was HIV positive, the other partner was HIV negative, and they weren't using condoms. And there was no transmission. And here's why. So if you are on the the medication that pushes down your viral load, the HIV is really only transmitted when your viral load is high. So the reason that Magic Johnson isn't sick is that they put these on medication and is going to live a long and normal life. The reason that he could have normal sex with his wife is that his viral load is low and even without a condom will not be able to transmit. What is viral load? It means it's when you first get it, you your 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 numbers are high. Think of it as that way. You get it, you get HIV. Like your a high blood cell like count. A high like blood a, okay. cell count. All right. You have a lot of the virus swimming around your Got system it. ready to infect other people. If you're on the medication or you've had it for a while and are on medication, you hardly test positive. So that's how that medication that's works. Then. It pushes those numbers works, down. And you cannot transmit it to anybody. So Amazing. I know. So you're thinking about all of this and medication and you can't transmit. So HIV, the reason you're not hearing about it very much is this is what's going on with healthy people, especially in Canada. The numbers are astronomically low. Yes, we still have to worry oh, about it. News. it. We still have to help the AIDS community of Ottawa. But it's not really the problem that it used to be. That's amazing. Isn't that? Great to hear. Yeah. yeah. Back to the herpes thing. Okay. If someone uh, has herpes but still wants to be active sexually, especially if they're, you know, on the dating scene, uh, yes, I believe you should declare it. Mm-hmm. Um, but can a condom prevent that from spreading? What's the best? I like the female condoms. Okay. They're hard to get. I'm thinking 
I'm going to get a whole bunch and I'm going to resell them. I think that's going to be my <laughs> retirement plan because literally you cannot get them anywhere. Amazon's like, they're hard to get. I'm going to have to write the company. But they're because they cover, I should pull it out, but they cover the whole vulva. And you don't want to rub. Yeah. If if condoms alone, if it's on, you know, if it's on your outer labia or up, you know, outside of your penis, not quite on the head of the penis, but in, you know, on a, on a general area in your abdomen, like, you know, your yep. crotch. Yep then you can rub it and poof, you've got the infection. Okay. I've never, I don't think I've ever actually seen one. Well, how, I'm let's find one. one. How, find how one. do they adhere? Is there like they a... They don't adhere. They, their women get this. So if women put in a tampon, it doesn't just fall out. What it does is it sits in there primarily behind your pubic bone. Or if you get in a diaphragm, you put it in and it locks behind the pubic bone. Okay. Stay put. I'm going to get one. So you're going to talk amongst yourselves. We're going to pause this. We will edit this video. And we're going to edit this video. Hang we'll on. We'll come back around. Oh my God, you actually have one to spare oh, for the video? Okay. Oh my God, my first female condom. Come on, it's like they want to see. All right, we're back. We're back. I'll be damned to Sue McGarvey. Of course you have. <laughs> one of everything, right? Well, it was in my toy thing. And there's like, I got, like I got one of those Ikea shelves with the 17 drawers. It was in one of them, but I found it. Okay, so that's what you're looking for. Female condom. And then... Try this at home, folks. <laughs> I'm just I'm just following the instructions right now. Okay, so it, it so it's just, it's like a condom, but it goes up inside. It goes Is up it inside. still okay. like the latex rubbery okay. thing? Okay, so here we go. One female, oh, look, it's already open. It's already okay. open. All right, I, I'll see. use it as demos. So one female condom, we open it up. La, 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 la. Look at this. It's a tube, and it's got a little ring inside. Boy. Okay. That's an awfully small one, isn't it, boys? Uh, uh, so you go and to so make a vagina, you push it through, push, 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 push. What happens is the way that women are designed, we have a pubic bone. Yep. And it's the, the, the diaphragm holds and it pops behind your pubic bone and it stays there. So this whole area. So even the movement goes, in and out is not going to. No, not at all. It's going to pop behind the pubic bone. It's not going to move. So you, have, that... you have to go in and pull it out to get it out. It can't get lost in your ear, okay? It feels like the end of your nose inside your body <laughs> covers, right? And it pops in. And then I said, you have intercourse, la, 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 la. Okay. And then, it, but it covers the whole area. So yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You have a sore on one of your labias or your buddy has a sore right at the edge of his penis. Right, right on. Yeah, no problem because it's covered. You can totally see. You can totally see how that's going to be more beneficial to that. I'm glad I asked the question. There thank you. Go. Thank you for show and tell. Yeah, show and tell. It's all good. We did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm all looby. <laughs> you, know, you know we're friends when, right? Sue McGarvey, Sex with Sue. Uh, absolutely amazing. Send your questions. She's obviously willing to answer and show you anything and everything. How do people get in touch? Sue at sexwithsue.com. You're amazing. Mm -hmm. Mwah.